Scientists are getting up close to the lava that is being produced by the ongoing eruption of Mauna Loa. This ah ah lava flow is several meters thick and moving to the northeast. Scientists are not going to get as close to these towering fountains erupting from the fissures on the northeast rift zone. The U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has estimated some of the fountains are reaching heights of 200 feet. The fountains seen in this video, which was recorded just before noon, were measured at up to 40 meters, or about 148 feet high. Scientists have also managed to install a new webcam, providing a live view of the vigorous lava eruption at Fissure 3 on the rift zone. A new map was published by the USGS today at noon. At the time the map was produced, two fissures were active, sending lava flows in multiple directions. Overnight satellite views allowed analysts to map some of the more active flows, which are displayed here in red. The dashed lines plot the further downslope progression of the flows and points mark the flow fronts. When this map was created, the most downslope flow was within 5.5 miles or 9 kilometers of Saddle Road. It's in the saddle area of the island where some of the best views can be seen. Overnight, residents flocked to the highway for a look at the lava as it came rolling down the mountain. The increase in traffic has prompted the Hawaii Department of Transportation to remind the public to use caution and common sense on the highway, and that the no parking zones between mile marker 16 and mile marker 31 will be enforced. Officials say designated parking lots may be used and are a safer option for those looking to observe the activity at Mauna Loa. And earlier today, Hawaii County Mayor Mitch Roth signed an emergency rule prohibiting parking and walking on the shoulders of the highway in the same area. The highway is a highway. People are driving 60 miles an hour. Um, not a safe place for people to park. And so we're not saying not to go up there. We're just asking if you're going to go, go to a designated parking area um, that is safe. Also, the Gilbert Kahale Recreational Area will remain open 24 hours a day until further notice, including both the lower and upper bathrooms. In addition, security guards will be on site from 6 at night to 6 in the morning. Meanwhile, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is open day and night. The National Park Service says visitors are welcome to watch the two eruptions that are occurring at the same time. And this morning I came up, I think it was about a little bit before six or something. Um, you can see both eruptions from many viewpoints along the Kilauea caldera. Uh, we were in front of Volcano House this morning and you could see a glow from the Kilauea current eruption. You could also uh, look up rift to the slope of Mount Loa and Ken. I believe what we were seeing from the park this morning was that fissure number four. Um, you can see my, this, this photo was taken with um, an old camera this morning. So here to my, I think that's my right, <laughs> that's the Kilauea lava lake glowing. And that is the Mauna Loa, I believe, fissure number four. Um, we could see that vigorously this morning. We had a spotting scope up there too. And um, it just, it looked pretty magnificent.